Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, and today we are discussing the eternal dangers of seeking after personal fame. Oh, beloved, we have an epidemic of many people who are claiming the name of Jesus. We're talking celebrities, friends, and some of you may know these people. You may have friends, you may have family, you may have distant cousins who are chasing after that thing called fame. But let me tell you, beloved, behind the scenes, many go insane. Because you cannot edge God out, ego trip, ego trip, E-G-O, edge God out and find peace and rest for your soul and eternal salvation. You cannot serve two masters. This is what Jesus taught. Jesus taught you cannot do this, my friend. And many people that are seeking after personal fame are after the money, power, and of course, they want everyone to know their name. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine and 10 says, do not be deceived. The ungodly will not, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now follow me close, my friend, because Paul wrote this to the church of Corinth. This was one of his uh, epistles and he said this people who continue to commit sexual sin this is dominant in the entertainment industry people are having all types of illicit sex you have celebrities who are listen friends they are doing what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 15 he said these people draw near to me with their mouths and honor me they will honor him with their lips Oh, follow me today, my friend, because I don't want you to be deceived. If you think talking a good talk about Jesus Christ, but you are not living this thing, friends, you're deceived. And then when you are chasing fame, there is so much compromise. And you have some people will tell you flat straight that they sold their soul to the devil. To what? Become famous. And then if you try to backpedal this thing, friend, after you have went after the rising of your name, friend, he ain't going to let you go. But I want us to focus right here. The word says, Jesus said, they draw near to me, they arm me with their lips, but their heart is far from me and in vain they worship me. Friends, listen, we have an epidemic of celebrities who are talking a good game, but they are living lifestyles of adultery. They are living lifestyles of illicit sex and fornication. They are compromising on every level. Listen, Follow me, my friends. Many of you know I did an extensive teaching on the sin of adultery, how many people are divorcing and remarrying other people's spouse. And you find this very dominant with people who are famous. But listen, friend, do not be deceived. If you are struggling behind closed doors with mental health issues, you are sad all the time, you are depressed, you find that you have different, this is how the celebrities say. They say they have different personalities. Often, friends, these are spirits. These are demonic spirits. And usually, these demon spirits are manifest through the persona that they make up of themselves. Sales. They make a persona and they will tell you that that is their alter ego. No, my friend. And, 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 and catch this. Alter ego. This is where you edge God out and you become the thing that you say that you are. You become this fierce. You become this domin uh, dominant force. You become this um, legend, if you will, in your own mind. You create this and you will find that their friends and family will tell you how this person is different, how you could be talking to them. And then uh, another one of these personalities, quote, spirits, manifest. Friends, do not sell your soul out for fame. It is a bottomless pit. You will find so many people talking about Jesus, talking about God, but they're not living it behind closed doors. If you have truly 
found redemption and the Holy Spirit has come into your life, I can guarantee you, my friend, you no longer want to sin against God. It's just not possible to have his spirit in you and you can just continue to do things that is totally against the, the, the sacrifice, the shed blood of Jesus Christ. So don't be deceived, my friend. Chasing fame, honoring God with your mouth. Jesus said, even him. He said, they draw near to me with that mouth. But that heart, they do what they want to do. They keep uh, compromising. They keep putting out work that glorifies sex, anger, lust, murder, hatred. This is the work that many people will do in the name of fame. But again, behind closed doors, many of them are insane. And this is what causes so many of them to be overtaken with illicit drugs because it's a bottomless pit. You cannot serve God and fame. You cannot serve God and money, mammon, which is usually the reason why many will sell their soul. Friend, let it not be you or your loved ones and friends. Warn them, share this video with them. Friends, you, you and I have to live holy. God gives us room. He gives us mercy and grace, but do not frustrate grace. Get out of that adultery. Get out of that fornication. Get out of that, that shacking situation where you still living with this person, calling them your fiance for five years, two years. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, my friend, you got to get out of that. God does not have a special place for a celebrity. God does not have a special place in heaven for celebrities. You have to come to the cross like everyone else. You got to turn from your wicked ways. Enough said, my friend. Matthew chapter 15 and 9 reveals the hypocrisy of talking one thing and you're living something totally different. God bless us all to consider these things.